Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question that I received from a viewer. I will read the question in its entirety, and then I will do my best to answer that question. Remember, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. People do read the comments, and sometimes you leave a comment and it helps lots of other people. So it's totally worth it if you have something positive or instructive to say. So let's go ahead and read it. The person's name is Andrew. I won't uh, give their last name. And the subject is college credit for math. Love your channel. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thank you. I feel like some videos have given me superpowers. Haha. <laughs> I've always been weak at math, but deep down inside, I want to be an engineer. Cool. In fact, I'm trying to go back to school for it, but I lack a math background. Any suggestions where I can go and take math, engineering, EE, and physics classes? I would need to get credit for them as they, that would increase my opportunity in getting accepted into a university program. Thank you, double exclamation mark. So yes, I do have some advice and it's actually not that difficult to do. So at least in the US, so I'm going to assume that you're in the US, in most states, as long as you have a GED or a high school diploma, either or, you can go to your local two-year college in most states, they're called community colleges. Sometimes they're called state colleges, and sometimes they have other names. But these are public institutions, okay, that are partially funded by their respective states. And they pretty much have an open entry policy. So as long as you have that GED or a high school diploma, you can get in. Many of them require that you take like a test. So you might have to go there and pay a little bit of money for an application fee and pay a little bit maybe for a test. And you take like a basic skills test. Usually it has some math questions. Maybe it has some reading questions. It depends on the school. And then based on that information, they tell you, hey, this is the class that you can get into. You belong in college algebra. You belong in pre-calc and trig. Maybe you need to take a class before college algebra, or maybe you can jump you know, straight into calculus. Maybe you can do that. So my advice would be to go online, go on Google and just type in colleges near me and try to find any that say like community college or state college and go to their websites and see what it takes to enroll in classes. So that does take some work. You have to go in, you know, you have to fill out an application, you know, it does take some work, but you can go. Also, they are relatively inexpensive. Again, depending on the state, most of them, they don't even cost that much. It's really, really inexpensive to go to these schools. You know, if you go to a private school or like a for-profit school, that's a different story. That's when like tuition can be really, really crazy. But at these public institutions, um, it's really not that bad. Also, also, this is really useful, uh, depending on your age. So if you're under 24, again, assuming you live in the U.S. and uh, you're, you're poor and your parents are, you know, poor, like they don't make a lot of money, you might get financial aid. If you're over 24, 24 or over, you're considered independent in the eyes of financial aid. And so if you don't have a lot of money, you'll get money for college. So one of the common things that happens to people is like they're under 24 and their parents make a little bit too much money. And then so they don't get financial aid and then their parents won't help them. So that's a common situation I see students in, you know, you're 20 years old. You decided to go to college. Your parents just barely make too much money and then they can't help you. And so you're out of luck. But if you're over 24, uh, they only consider your income for financial aid. Anyways, that was a lot of information. <laughs> so went on a kind of a rant. So go online and just find those colleges. And I think it's really cool. Um, you want to be an engineer. And usually those colleges, they'll offer like, you know, calculus one, calculus two, calculus three, you know, physics one, physics two. Um, sometimes they'll have like a linear algebra. They often offer differential equations. Uh, you know, you can take all your math classes there, uh, all the basic ones you need for engineering or most of them. And, uh, those physics classes, those core physics classes, which are really, really important. But yeah. And if you do good there, a lot of times, not always, a lot of times they have like some type of program where like you'll do two years there and then you'll, they'll have like a transfer program. And if they don't, I mean, they're used to getting applicants from those schools. So, you know, you go there for two years, you get what's called an associates of arts degree. It's a two year degree. And then from there, um, you can transfer to another school and you can stay in state after this, or you can go out of state. So that's a whole nother topic, right? Because 
let's say you go to your local college for two years and you want to be an engineer. And if you transfer to an in-state school, you are lucky because you get in-state tuition. If you want to go to an out-of-state school, like say you want to go to MIT or Harvard and you don't live in the states where those schools are located, then your tuition is out of state. So, but yeah, you can totally do it. Anyone can do it. Um, there's all kinds of opportunity um, in this particular situation. The most difficult thing will be if you can't afford to pay for it because you know the classes do cost money. Tuition varies wildly. It really varies by state. In different states, it costs more than other states. I don't really know. I'm just throwing numbers out, but like it might be four hundred dollars for a class, or it might be a thousand dollars for a class. It just depends on the different states, and I'm not really up to date <laughs> with what like each of the states charges for tuition per class. But it's really inexpensive, and you get credit for them. If anyone else has questions for this viewer, Andrew, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you have questions for me. Uh, just you either click the about bu about page on YouTube and ask me a question, or you can go to my website, mathsorcerer.com, and there's a contact page, and you can contact me through there. That's how Andrew contacted me um, through my website. So, yeah, if you have questions, ask me. Andrew, I hope this helps. If you have any advice for Andrew, please leave a comment. I think it's awesome, Andrew. Do it, right? Go online, find a college, do it, get your degree. Good luck, man.